Have you ever written a great post, created a great brand, advertised a great product, and realized you've invested yourself in a blogosphere that doesn't know you? My name is Omonaiki. I'm the convener of this historical event, iBlog, the very first of its kind. So we talked to a blogger here and then we'll see some of what the blog looks like. Hi, um, my name is Tosin Agabu and I blog about um, inspirational articles. I'm actually a work in progress. So I started it last year. I wanted a platform where I can share like my journey through life. My name is Dolakpo Lucas Odujole. I blog about beauty, makeup, and basically beauty. Hair, makeup, and nails. My name is Atawa Mohammed. I blog on politics, arts, and writing. I basically write about everything. I open up. If I made love to my husband last night, I put it there. If you don't open up, there's no how they can trust you. So I allow her to just go about her work and she opens up, so I don't have any bad feelings about it. If all I achieve is that you can spread your message better, you can advertise your business better, or do what you do a little bit better because you came here and learned here, it will be well worth it. I understand something. I understand the fact that even God hasn't been able to please the world. And if he, in all his majesty and glory, and all those big words I describe him, is not able to please the world, then who am I to please the world? So for me, what I do is, I make sure to say what I feel per time. So if it hurts you, the, the internet is such a very, very beautiful place. There's a way for you not to go to the blog again. There's a way for you to unfollow. There's a way for you to blog. But the bottom line is, those that will stay, will stay. Those that won't stay, will not stay. I just make sure to pay attention to everybody. For instance, I found out that a lot of mothers were following me, so I, I stopped flirting too much. But I, you know, I still flirt. <laughs> so I, I pay attention to my audience, but bottom lines are bottom lines. I'm not there essentially for them. I'm there for myself. I forgot an iPad too. We couldn't find it, so they returned an iPad. Um, Three because the iPad 2 was the highest level when I lost my iPad and iPad 3 was out. <laughs> I don't put myself at the center of controversy. See, of course, insinuations are normal. People can assume anything. I did not know that the Arik thing was, for instance, this is an example, I did not know that the Arik thing was going to be that big. Twitter removed Arik from Twitter. They, 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 a lot of people were saying bad things to them. It, it looks like I was bullying them, but I felt bullied. I'm glad we settled it. Everybody's happy now. If, if I want to fly an Arik um, plane in the next five hours and the plane is full, I know who to call and get on the plane. It's happened before, so. <laughs> <laughs> You've also been accused of um, taking to Twitter, for instance. People say, I'm not sure I talk a lot. He says a lot of stuff, but you're hiding behind your handle. That's what they say. So where would you be? without Twitter, without social media? Where would that voice that has become very loud, where would it be without those media? Uh, where would anybody be without the tools that make us who we are? So saying I hide behind Twitter, I don't get it. Look, I have 50,000 people there listening to me. So when, when I go there, I, I don't see the numbers. I see human heads, yeah. the way I see it in church. So are you saying, because people are saying that, I'm using Twitter to, to advance my personality, my course, my ideas, my politics, my business, my everything. I, like I said, it's my life. Do you have a real job? At the airport, when, when they write occupation, I used to be confused as to what to write. So eventually I decided, okay, no, I don't even have time to start putting consultant, oil and gas, this and this. I started putting blogger. <laughs> yeah, I started putting, and I'm going to be putting blogger everywhere now. Because the truth of the matter is, if it is not big today, Linda, Linda may not have been able to come out openly to say this thing, but Linda makes as much as three, four million every month. And these guys have said I should get a real job. I don't know if they make things like that. The total travel cost for people inviting me to and fro um, last year was over 20 million naira. A real job is a box. When we were growing up, a real job was to be a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, and all of those things. In our generation, the box expanded. The box expanded and took in the likes of... Um, 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 Tara Fela Brotoe, yeah. yeah. 
that was not in the box. He wasn't in the box. The box expanded and took in photography, um, Kelechi Amadiobi, TY. The box expanded and took in footballers. But I'm assuring you, if God keeps me alive and if God keeps us alive, in the next two, three years, that box is going to take in bloggers. Okay, you mentioned to me when we had our short talk yeah. that Occupy, you're smiling because you know I remember everything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, Occupy Nigeria, you said you were, the, you were the biggest beneficiary. Yeah. What does that mean? This is me being real. It's not, it's, it's not something you're supposed to say yeah. that you went to protest and then you're a beneficiary. It's not something the Nigerian says. But that's the truth. But that wasn't planned. During Occupy Nigeria, my blog went crazy. That was the source for information. I Occupy Nigeria advanced me. Did I plan it? Of course not. And do I have apologies for that? No. Let's talk about the future elections, the ones coming. Yeah. How do you think that something like Occupy Nigeria, where all of a sudden we all had a voice, we all had a place to go and write and say what we had to say, how do you think that that new consciousness that we've got would influence what happens in the country and towards the elections? If these guys show the kind of passion they showed during the movement, which was not just a passion to go and vote, but a passion to get others to, it was a movement. If we, and one of the reasons why I'm online, I'm doing what I'm doing, is to sustain this movement. That's why, um, that's why the Save Fumi, Save Bagega, Save This and That, are not just about saving those people. Yeah. They're actually about keeping everybody still it's involved with something. Because the final save in this series of movies is save the Save Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. for 2015. That's the final save for part one. Part two will be 2019 and like that. But that change that Nigeria really, really wants, that, that real person that really cares about the people, that's not afraid to step on toes, take down, do things that have to be done in terms of cost and benefit for people. Yeah. I think the, that government would be in 19. If it happens in 15, I'll be elated, I'll be glad. Occupy Nigeria is not government change. It's an awakening. It's an awakening. It is not to change government. It is to get all of us interested in government, governance, and politics. Yeah. I want to use Twitter to do some, in Yoruba, they call it Aramada. So I want to use to do some Aramada in the coming years. What so does Aramada mean? Wonder. Mysteries, wonders. My, my, own income, my own income comes from Twitter. <laughs> Directly from Twitter okay. and from public speaking. Okay. How do you make money on your Twitter handle? Brands are paying attention to it. Now, they don't, it, it's not like, it's, it's not a conventional thing. How do you advertise on Twitter? How do you do it? For instance, when you begin to monetize anything, the consumer experience drops. Because people, your followers are not there for you to advertise to them. Yeah. They are not. Your blog, your, the people that read your blog are not there to read your adverts. So the more adverts come in, the less their experience. So now you have a responsibility to create a balance. When I negotiate a deal, I'm not thinking of how I benefit because that one is natural. The money would come. I'm thinking of how those following me benefit. If there's no benefit for them, no deal. In blogging, you need to communicate to people's hearts. Okay, so what example? And someone will be asking that question. Just yeah. right. So what to tweet? How to tweet? What did you tell me? When, when you tweet, you have to be able to connect to people's hearts. When you write, look, when people read you, has it has to touch them. Rationality is good. Being logical is good. Yeah. Because if you argue without logic, then you're useless. Yeah. Nobody's going to... What are you saying? But at the end of the day, the part that counts, and that's why I have connection with a lot of women, yeah. because women use their hearts a lot. The part that counts is your ability to connect to your readers' hearts. Third word, Omojua, women. <laughs> You're yeah, sweating. All of a sudden, you wipe the spot. Yeah, because the thing about guys is that when they win your stuff or when you do anything or they, you do something that thrills them, nice. Then they go back home and that's it. When you, when you do a thing like that and a woman gets it or wins it or something, she talks about it. <laughs> Women have been, look, when, if you abuse me on Twitter yeah. and I want to punish you, yeah. I'll retweet you. My female followers will go and attack you. So, if you remove everything from my brand, just leave the women. <laughs> yeah. How realistic is his, his, is his wanting to learn how to cook when he's married? After marriage. After marriage. I'm asking the husband. Zero. 
zero. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you why I want to learn it. I want to learn it when I get married because I want to also be having sex in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So so it, so if if I don't if I don't like cooking, then it, it might not be cool. He actually yeah. said he didn't like he did say. It. <laughs> yeah? You're not imagining. He actually said. So if 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 I don't know how to, if I don't like the kitchen, then the kitchen is out of if I don't like cooking, then the kitchen is out of where I want to express, you know, this thing with my wife. And I don't want anywhere in my house <laughs> to be out of that situation. Oh. So so I think I'll learn how to cook. So is there a woman? How uh, much are? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Because look, the thing about you this can, you my can tell me. the thing about my relationship with <laughs> You can tell me. <laughs> tell us like who that profile of the Omojua woman. There's no profile. Um Okay, call it profile. I don't like creating boxes, yeah, because I, I like to I like to be surprised. But of course, whoever is going to be married to me has to have a brain. Yeah, because I'll be pissed off if we're trying to have a conversation and the best you can say is I don't know. Or silence. Or mm, mm. I, I <laughs> But you have to have intelligence. You have to be able to communicate. Look, beauty is, is um, cheap. With all due respect, physical beauty. I mean, beautiful, beautiful women are all over the place these days. I don't get it. When I was growing up, maybe because I'm not an adult, maybe I didn't pay attention to that. But everybody's so beautiful these days. Maybe because of what you guys are doing, makeup people. So <laughs> beauty cannot be your point anymore because it's now cheap, anyways. I need to be on Twitter. I'd rather the person is not on Twitter because if the person is on Twitter, je jealous, the person might not be able to understand that I need to. So all no, don't don't get it twisted. I'm not saying the person cannot be on Twitter. Yeah. I said I'd rather because the thing is, if the person starts dating me, he switches from that, that guy that he, he has fun flirting with women to my girl, my boyfriend is flirting again. On yeah, and she might not be able to stand it. And <laughs> and I cannot assure you that when I have a girlfriend, I'm going to stop flirting because I mean it's fun. It, I love it. It's 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 me. When I was teaching in Port Harcourt, I was talking to some activists in Port Harcourt, and I told them that um, I gave them a representation. You've gone to Asso Rock, you know, go green, we know, go green, they won. Then you went to your hotel, a big Ghana must go. Came. Dollars. Yeah. Just there. And they put your name there for Jacques Omojua. And the way I described it to them, they couldn't tell lies because I, I, I said it in a way that they were seeing the pictures. Yeah. There's no time to do that thing here. So I asked, how many of you carried the money? And thankfully, they all confessed that they carried it. So I, I, gave, I asked them, why did you carry it? And they expectedly, they, they rationalized. No matter what you do, whether good or evil, you are able to rationalize. I said, so you, why did you pick it? He said, eh. he said no, I don't just speak Amo. I didn't just speak it. Oh. I called, um, he said he called their, or guard, their chief activist. Uh, she come and see the money that they gave us. I carried the money and stuff. <laughs> I was like, so when you guys speak the money, I said, you went deep. He said, that it's our money now. We use it to do our protest things. I said, I said, nice. I said, so after you guys carry the money, the next day of the meeting, were you as loud as you were? I said, you, you could never be. You don't have the ability to be as loud. You respect of your excuse for carrying the money. I said, so first of all, you have to understand the role of money in your life. What is the role of money in your life? Money is your, is your servant. And we'll see next time. Please feel free to share out your business cards. We'll increase the music, we'll bring out the food, like move around, talk to somebody, and enjoy yourself.